What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of a Super Cooper Sunday! Woo! We are back! Yay! It's our favorite day of the week, is it not? No? It's not your favorite day? Oh, well you're smiling, it looks like you're still having a good day. What up Chelsea? you ready? I'm ready. Today is going to be a fun episode. We are going to be venturing out and we are going to be with this little one today. Coda, you're not the star today bud, I'm sorry. Say goodbye to the people. We'll probably be back with you next week. I have to show you guys what Chelsea did yesterday. So she, I was in my office working, making videos, and she was like, I'm going to Target. We have some cleaning supplies we need that we ran out of. I'm like, okay, that's fine. She comes home with all of this. So you guys know, we just had that really fun backyard water hose day episode last week. I really want to do this episode. I didn't want to do two of that in a row, but coming up sometime soon, the next couple weeks, look at this. Right here, we have another fountain type thing, kind of like the fire hydrant from last episode. Chelsea found this. We have two little areas where the water comes out, and then she was just saying that it comes out of the hose too. So like you have the two main like parts, the two main fountains, and then you also have little sprayers all across. So basically, we're gonna set this up in the yard, and he's not gonna be able to get away from that because it's you know, it's gonna be 20 feet of water. Like it's, it's gonna be insane. So that's gonna be pretty cool. We also have a hydro rocket, which is a water propelled rocket. I think I know who's gonna love that. Um, we have these little super soaker things. These, which are kind of like these foamy balls that hold water. So it's kind of like a reusable water balloon, I guess. She got actual water balloons. She got a shark fin for Cooper. That's gonna be really funny. She got a pie face game. This probably won't be in that episode, but it'll be in an episode on its own where you put whipped cream on there and we can smack them in the face with whipped cream. That'd be kind of fun, right boys? I don't know. She got a lot of good stuff. So exciting episodes of Super Cooper Sunday coming up next. If you guys don't know, every single week I have a link down below where you can submit ideas of your own. So if you guys ever want to do that, feel free to. But today, what we're going to be doing, you guys know the title of this video. We are going to be going out and we are going to be teaching Coop finally to be able to catch the frisbee. Are you ready, buddy? You want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? You want it that bad? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So I think, was it around a year ago? I don't know when the actual date was, but a while ago, we tried to teach Cooper how to catch the frisbee back in our old house. And it was a relatively successful type deal. I like we made progress, but he never actually learned how to catch it out of the air. So I'm hoping that today, we're gonna go to the park and we're actually gonna teach him how to catch it out of the air, which is gonna be really, really cool. And you guys can see he's really, really hyped about it. So we're gonna go do that. Let's hop in the car. Let's get it on your marks. Get set. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! Come on, come here. Hey, where you going? Come on. We're going in the truck. Good boy. All right, so this video is gonna serve two purposes. And number one is, it's just gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna see Cooper progress. Uh, hopefully at the end of it, we can get some success. He'll be able to catch the Frisbee out of the air. We'll see what happens. Um, the second thing is, is we kinda want this to be somewhat of a tutorial video. If you guys have dogs at home that you wanna teach to catch the Frisbee, it's one of the most popular things people wanna do, but it's also one of the most popular things people end up giving up on because they think it's really tough when it's really not. I put Cooper through some really strenuous puppy training when he was little and learned a lot from that class. She trained therapy dogs for like 10 years, so we're pretty good at training dogs and I think we're gonna be able to get it as long as he wants to cooperate, which he <laughs> usually does. So, hope you guys enjoy. If you wanna teach your dog at home, really all you're gonna need is the Frisbee and then some sort of reward. Some dogs are more food motivated, some dogs are more like toy play motivated. Cooper's super food motivated, most oh. dogs are. So, we just use his normal kibble and that's gonna be kind of like a treat when he does stuff right. And yeah, so let's get to the park. This should be a good time. You ready, dude? Let's do it. Ugh. We made it. This is a nice little local park here. Oh, Cooper, chill, chill. Some of you guys might remember this. Um, the tennis ball launcher episode with like the slingshot and the launcher and stuff. This is where we did that. It's got this nice little grassy area, so I feel like this is gonna be perfect for teaching him how to catch this Frisbee. So are you ready, dude? I know you're very excited right now. Let's do this. 
came in clutch. I almost forgot about this, but she brought water too. Of course, on a nice hot day, he's gonna need some water. Anyway, we're gonna take this from the top. He's already halfway towards knowing how to do this, but for your first time at home, for your dog, some dogs will be intimidated by the Frisbee. So what you can do if you wanna introduce them to the Frisbee is just treat it like a food dish. So put it down, put some food in there, they'll eat out of it, and then they'll learn to trust it. Okay, once you have them comfortable with the Frisbee, you have to turn it into a toy. Cooper, come on, come on, look. You want it? You want it? Good boy, good boy. So you kind of want to do this at first. And part of this is because you want them to want it. The other part of it is it kind of gets them to start getting a running start for when you actually do throw it down the line. So you can also start to spin just to get them to come after it. You also actually want to try to give it to them sometimes and then praise them once they get it in their mouth. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yay. Whew, this thing is slobbery. All right, anyway, so this next step is where it starts to get a little bit harder And this is kind of where we left off last time when we did that last video So you want to get him chasing it like we were But then you actually want to let go of it and you're not throwing it It's just like a little drop and then you want them to try to catch it out of the air. This just takes a lot of practice We'll see if we can get it Oh, good try Oh, almost that was a bad throw. Oh, you can't catch it with your hands, dude. What are you doing? Come here, come here. Come on, good boy. Oh, come on, Cooper. Cooper, come here. I think it might be time for a water break. Man, it is so hot out here that even the camera is overheating. I just had to put it in the truck with the AC on. Okay, so we're gonna come back at it here. We wanna get him to catch it out of my hand very closely, and then from there we can start to throw it, and that's pretty much what you do. It's Like I said, it's really, really simple. Just takes a lot of practice. Probably could have picked a cooler day, but I think we're gonna be able to make it work. He's still very, very excited about this right now. He runs back to the tree every time. <laughs> Feels good under there. You know what? Let's just go for a throw. I want to see what he does right now if we go through a throw, okay? You ready, Coop? You ready? Come here. Come here. Oh! Hey! Oh my gosh, good boy! Good boy! No way! Let me go back to my back tree. To the tree. It's always it's always the tree. <laughs> if the tree was thrown in, he probably would have caught it. Good boy! Okay, that's the first time he has ever attempted to catch it out of the air like that. Such a good boy. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Come this way. Come on. Go get it. Oh, oh I'm so proud of you. Oh my goodness, back to the tree. Water break number two. Heat exhaustion is a very bad thing for dogs. They can get uh, in a lot of trouble in terms of their health. So you always wanna make sure you keep them cool and keep them in the shade. So we're gonna give them a couple more minutes to relax. We're gonna come back and I think we're gonna get it. I really do. So you know how athletes take an ice bath to kind of recover, repair, make sure they get all the lactic acid out and stuff like that? Yeah. That is exactly what we have going on right now. Coop's in the cryo chamber cooling off. Our superstar. Couple more minutes, buddy, and then we're gonna go back out. We're gonna catch that frisbee, I promise. So we've cooled down. We're gonna go try to catch it one more time, get another drink of water, and then I think we are gonna take it home. I think we're gonna go for probably two more throws. You guys can see he's pretty tired. We definitely don't wanna overdo it. If anything, we can go back home. And since he's like, I wanted the big space to try to teach him it since he's already kind of got it down. I think we could probably make the rest of it happen in like the back of the front yard. So we're going to try two more throws. I think he's going to get it. Let me know if you guys think he will too. And uh, here we go, dude. You ready? Come here. Come on. Here we go. You want it? 
It's really exciting. You get two shots. Don't miss your chance to blow. Go get it. Ah, oh, that wasn't very good of a throw. That doesn't count. That one does not count. It started coming backwards. That's a tough one to catch. We want to have it going forwards all the way. Here we go, buddy. You ready? Come here. Come on. Oh, that one's coming back to you. Hey, oh, good boy! Almost got it anyway. Good boy. Okay, one more. Are you a good boy? You're a good boy. Come on. You earned it! Oh my gosh! You guys just witnessed the first ever Super Cooper Frisbee catch of all time. The first of probably thousands. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> well, holy cow, that was amazing. All right. I can't believe you couldn't write a better story. That's a comeback Cinderella story right there. Good job, Coop. We're gonna go back. We're gonna chill out in the house in the AC for a little bit. Maybe even get a little swim in if she decides that's okay. And uh, we'll probably try a couple more in the backyard. So we'll see you guys there. Look at Chelsea down there cleaning the pool. She has no clue I'm watching her. I think she's talking to the dog right now. Anyway guys, we are back here at home in the AC. It feels so good and uh, Cooper was exhausted. Like he was very, very tired. I don't think it was to the point where it was dangerous, but he was tired and he panted for probably 30, 40 minutes after we got back. So I don't think we're going to push it too hard. It's like 90 degrees in Florida today. So I just don't think he's, you know, ready for any more physical activity. I don't even know if I want him to swim because I want him to just chill out and hang out and relax, which I don't think he's ready to do, but that's okay. He's going to have to just stay and wait in here. So we're going to go out here and we're going to help Chelsea with the pool. Is that your towel? Yeah. I just got her towel. Okay, so that's gonna be the end of Super Cooper Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed. Coop, not today, buddy. You need to relax. But we got the frisbee catch. I'm gonna keep working with it. You guys saw the process. Now we got the end result, and you just kind of keep doing that. So you keep throwing it to them. They keep catching it. You keep praising them, and then eventually they get it down. And they're super consistent with it. So I'm excited. Maybe in a future episode, we'll have to teach him how to do the. Um, like jump off the back frisbee catch. Do you think we could do that? That would take a lot of work. Oh I'm not the test dummy for that one. Oh man, okay. that would be fun. Let us know if you guys want to see that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys later. See you next week. Hold up, before you guys go, I just want to let you guys know that we just uploaded a brand new video over on our vlogging channel. So if you aren't quite sick of seeing Chelsea and I yet, then uh, you can click that top link down in the description. It'll take you there. Check it out, subscribe if you guys like it. And uh, yeah, we're trying to ramp up that vlog channel. We're gonna start uploading a lot more over there. So thanks again, guys. I'm gonna catch you guys later for real this time. Peace out.